वेलकम टू अमर स्टोर सेंट सर टुडे आई एम गोना गिव यू गैज अ खान आर रिव्यू और शो यू अ डिज़ाइन ऑफ अ कोयल एवरी माई फ्रेंड हैज़ बिल्ड इन अ बैक यार्ड सो लेट्स टेक अ लुक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस एवरी और कोयल आई नो आई वुड नॉट कॉल दिस इन कोयल ए खेज बिकॉज खेज इज अ वेरी स्मॉल दिस इज अ ट्वेंटी फीट लॉन्ग एंड फाइव फीट वाइड so if you can take a look so this is pretty big and he is raising uh, around 50 quail uh, he started with 70 but 20 couldn't survive he hatched them uh, by himself uh, and then uh, he is raising them here so let's take a look on the design overall first of all he has uh, these uh, boxes on each of the side and why he has them so he can collect the eggs without any problem so if you uh, notice right here he made the box and then the hitches are there and uh, this is a, a door or pick up uh, knob and uh, here the coils are so uh, if uh, rain happen or anything happen they can come in and uh, this is pretty high so there would be no water and uh, this will be dry and uh, let's go back on other side and take a look uh, what we have uh, on other side so this is how it is going to look uh, you build a box and then you have a door or roof on top of it uh, waterproof uh, water is not going to go in there would be some water go in but that's all right because that will drain uh, from the other side you have to kind of work uh, through it so let's go on the other side then uh, we will go in and take a look here he has uh, another box at the corner that's connected so from there you can see and uh, this box is right there let's see what he has here he has quill here as well small door so they can come in and go uh, go in the aviary so uh, Uh, one of the thing i want to tell you guys even you have these boxes here quails are not going to lay eggs always in these boxes uh, the quail will lay egg anywhere so on top of that what he has uh, he has put the wood plies and then uh, he has a plastic uh, to cover it so no water goes in okay uh, on side uh, he has to put the wood uh, right next to it uh, and there is a four uh in by 4 uh, and uh, then he has put some gravel and uh, uh really tap it well and uh, has cement uh, uh, under that uh, um wood uh, so water will not go in okay so let's go in uh, and take a look what uh, he has inside so the length of this whole area is uh, 20 feet the width is 4 uh, and 4 and 1/2 and uh, there is a door right here so look at the door so he has a door on top of this uh, little hard to get in uh, but it's all right uh, you know you're not going to get in every day uh, but uh, as i can tell you because if you are keeping this quail for eggs uh, you have to go in every day if you are keeping like 50 of them you have to pick uh, uh, two to three dozen of eggs so let's get in not bad for person like me uh, kids uh, can get in also uh, he has put uh, uh, this uh, Uh, kind of wood there so they can climb and go in that uh, nest box or box uh, in case of rain these guys are going in and out uh, so he has different variety of quail uh, with different colors pretty good uh, these are 9 weeks old uh, and his quail uh, start laying egg 2 weeks ago i have eaten uh, uh, almost like 2 dozen of eggs from him pretty good he has put extra feeder here just uh, for uh, in case you know and they go low on or just uh, kind of show love to the birds here he has put some wood here <laughs> they go on top of that and go there these are the feeder he has built so let's take a look on the feeders first uh, and uh, beautiful birds uh, uh, very beautiful birds he has uh, different colors and uh, look at this egg so he has white egg now uh, white bird you know healthy birds very nice uh, birds he has uh, i like these a lot so this is a feeder he has built so you get the plastic uh, uh, this is uh, i believe 4 inches uh, in diameter and uh, now what you do uh, you are going to you have a cap here he doesn't need a cap here because uh, uh, really uh, he has the roof and the uh, rain is not come in or anything is not coming inside so he doesn't need this uh, uh, cap but anyways uh, it's good to have it if uh, you feel it like okay where some water can get in and all so now you have this whole pipe goes all the way here 
you put in this box here and then uh, at the end of that uh, if you notice right here he made he put that uh, holes uh, so look at this uh, so inside that uh, you can notice right here so each of this pipe has some hole uh, like a couple of inches and uh, the food uh, drain from there and then he has the uh, holes uh, right here so the quail can just uh, come here and uh, keep it in when the food uh, they can keep eating food here uh, pipes are full and what happened the feed comes right here and keep uh, coil keep eating food so no waste uh, management system for the quail pretty good uh, i like that and uh, now look at these birds are uh, they drinking some water so what he did he took five bucket uh, five gallon bucket uh, from the home depot and uh, put uh, these uh, nozzles there so for water, water and the uh, quails uh, are drinking water from there so he has uh, these nozzles there so he is using two buckets uh, so one here another one here and uh, this one uh, uh, he, I don't know if he's just says uh, this one is probably for storage but this one is uh, using for water and uh, now he, that's his well, I believe he picked the eggs uh, this morning or something. Uh, the one of my best ones, uh, the one I like it. Uh, they are uh, these are the one. So these are really fast. So you see that is right there. There are a lot of them inside, you know. And uh, what he did, I asked him uh, how often you wash this place. Uh, in nine weeks, uh, he actually washed a couple of days ago. So uh, I can tell, like, I visit this friend um, uh, often, uh, and uh, in the evening when it is the uh, wind is blowing and all that, uh, it's not that uh, uh, pleasant to sit right next to them. So if you have a lot of them, you have to have a plan to uh, clean the Avery on a regular basis. And he started with 70. Now uh, they're around 50 so pretty good and uh, in nine weeks so uh, you will have your birds to eat these are ready to go and uh, on top of that these guys are uh, already laying two to three dozen eggs for him so there are a lot of uh, males here he is planning to butcher them so what i will suggest you guys uh, uh, you should raise uh, uh, these quills in backyard uh, but have a plan for cleaning it's not a big deal because if you clean them uh, every week or two weeks you know uh, that that's gonna be good so these birds are pretty healthy look at this guy look at this guy I'm uh, very uh, the eggs were delicious uh, I had them uh, yesterday and the uh, kids ate, ate them uh, he had temperature thing put in uh, right now it's 85 and uh, human humidity is there so uh, he just uh, he take care of these animals really good so overall uh, i will with this every i will say this is a good design so birds can't really these birds don't fly too high i have a, at my farm uh, where i have a eight feet uh, uh, tall uh, um uh every but these birds they really don't fly they kind of jump from uh their flight is uh like four four five feet maximum you know so they don't really fly and uh they, this is perfect you know they these guys raising organic uh, uh birds for him and uh for the family and i will suggest anybody who lives uh, uh in countries such as developing countries uh, pakistan india bangladesh or africa or anywhere uh, they or even the United States uh, this is a perfect uh, uh, thing to do because uh, you get uh, these egg, uh, a dozen of eggs uh, quail eggs uh, or organic or raised at the farm and all that they're five dollar a dozen here in America and uh, if you are gonna be like a sell these meat birds uh, five dollars six dollars per piece uh, and the cost is like dollar for to raise them for eight to nine weeks uh, so really great uh, watch my other videos on quail avery's uh, quail uh, how much the food quail eat or how to build the water system so look for those one and i will suggest you uh, raise your own, own home birds and uh, uh, healthy food for yourself and family live happy thanks very much for watching subscribe if you like